quick shout out to my first YouTube member, Mustang, and also a shout out to my Patreon supporters, Leilani Clark, Char, Cheryl Bertolini, and William. All proceeds are going to the developers. Thank you all for your support and being our Baka bros. Hey bros, welcome to TLDR episode 11, mini devlog for Chaos Cart. Let's get started. So in this episode, we are going over mostly the retopology in the arms and the hands. So we wrapped up a lot of the things for the main body and everything, adding the head to the torso and the torso to the legs and the legs to the, the shoes. Here we're starting off with a finger. I usually end up retopologizing fingers like a stop sign. If you see it, then it's like around like eight or so edges. And then I might add in density later, but just for simplicity's sake and everything, I'm going for just a stop sign feel. There I'm adding that different, that, that, ooh, that top piece for the top of the hand as part of the hand rather than it being a separate piece uh, retopologize separately. Yeah, here I'm adding the stop sign at the tip of the hand as well. I'm doing it a little bit differently with talk because he has such square fingers, everything. So if you do have a lot more round fingers, which you typically uh, you might have in your character, you may not want to do the stop sign method, but that's what I was doing uh, for most, yeah, simplicity's sake. And also just because that was a stylization choice that we decided to make for talk. There I'm kind of adding the different fingers. He only has uh, four fingers. Um, as a stylization system choice as well, kind of like uh, similar to Disney and Pixar. Make sure you have clean edge loops. That's really, really important for deformation of the hands and actually ha having the hand to work. If you do not have clean edge loops, your animator is going to hate you, or director is going to hate you as well. Um, so make sure you uh, do that and do it well. Um, as far as having clean edge, uh, edge loops for, especially during each joint, make sure you have like two or three edge loops for deformation. There I'm kind of adding the top of the gloves and everything, and also adding a little more topology for the top of the gloves. So all that lacing that you see is going to be all in the bake. It's going to be really, really cool how you do that. From the high poly, we're not actually like building out the laces low poly at all. Only do that if you need it for silhouette. They're kind of building the arms out. Make sure we have at least three edge loops for the elbows. And thank you for watching and see you on TLDR episode 12. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Bye. Thank you all for your support and being our Baka bros. Happy developing bros.